flight's perfect. Oh yeah, good line. That's the way, just relaxed, flowing. Let's see how Ethan does. Oh, it's right on the line, I think he'll like that. Relaxed, shoulder back. Good. Hey, I'm noticing something in your posture, D. Line up with the javelin facing forward. Yeah, face away from me. You're uh, sticking your butt out too much. I want you to, yeah, tuck this underneath, underneath you a little bit, underneath. Yeah, that's all. Try that, see if you can capture your core in the throw better. Did you notice that? Yeah. Did it feel better or not really? Yeah. Okay. So we're warming up. It's a beautiful day. And my instruction was to try to throw like they imagine they're trying to be artistic in their technique, not so rigid. I want flow and not old, rigid. How old is this javelin, Tom? Oh God, 23 or four years old. One of those old yeah, orbits but from it, Tom's I bet day. it flies as good as anything. It's a beautiful job. I'm sure I threw that in like Oslo in 1998. Oh. See how it doesn't want to, it's so straight. It's yeah. so flat. But it's stiff, you know. So my, my, the instructions were to throw really relaxed and imagine that you're being the artist and you want to make javelin throwing look beautiful. So that's the key. So we'll get some more footage. They're picking them all up. Avion's looking good. Good. Just snuck the arm a hair. Relax that arm. Not quite, he missed that just a hair. It's the first one he missed and I get it on film, typical. Come on, let's go, put her up there perfect. A little looser arm, don't be rigid. Wait for the legs. Oh, even with a slip, you just nailed it. That's totally hammered right into the money. That's a dot, there you go, oh my gosh. Look at. Okay, you guys are uh, producing some uh, good results there when we get the camera out. Beautiful job, everybody. Yep, that's perfect. Little nose, you could probably finish it off and dart it just a hair more. Little nose up, a little bit of a positive angle. Come on, Avion, show me something perfect. So this last weekend we had, you know, a second competition. Everybody's pretty, how do you say, well, I would say sore. So yesterday, believe it or not, we tested our jumps and sprints and had a great day, just a kind of an excited day. They were rested enough to produce well, and today we're going into fluidity, so it's a long warm-up with throwing. We'll have a few other segments to show you. So this is called a twist and throw. Four sets of six six on each side and my teaching to them today is to allow for technique to not be so rigid and be a little more fluid so everything is flowing and fluid today you good all good okay you get it going yeah all right here's donovan on his second set Let, leaving his arm back a little bit better he was a little tight on his first one this is much nicer now you were just a little tight a little more fluid. I see a little more dynamic ability to the armpit and shoulders. Elbows are longer. Good. Feels good? Yep. Great job. I almost want to call it lazy throwing, you know? Go. Okay! Yeah! 
nice and fluid. Bring it back dynamically. So I'm not letting anybody start in a rigid way. Do a few more for me, please. She's using a one kilo ball, so she's not throwing hard. So we're set, not setting the ball in a static position, but we're dropping it down to be fluid and just continue. Big follow through. Good. Okay. Good work. All right, so we got Ethan getting ready for the meet. We had everybody do three sets of this so far. Just using a one kilo ball. We're using the back foot on the plate to help him have the sensation of the turning of the knee in and still staying back behind the block. So this drill is specifically built to get best separation. He's doing a really nice job, good. So this allows you